since there's no 45 guts limit, it doesn't matter if it costs little and you don't get to not use those guts, what? Yeah, we made rank A. We're doing real good. English is hard. It's all good. Where's the next A rank tournament? January, February, March. Oh my god, there's such a drought in A rank until April. Where is the fucking... Oh my god, not until November is the Platinum tournament? I don't know if we're gonna get here. I don't know if we're gonna still be in rank A by the time Platinum rolls around. I think our plan might be just to boot it for the big four and try to make our money that way. Okay, so what am I aiming for? I got 20, 30... I think it's... 24? Let me rules it. I should probably just re leave the rules open. 2500 for A rank. I am, I'm just hitting prime. I think we could win this. It's getting late, but I think we can maybe win with this guy. 500 more points than this? Holy shit. I almost don't even need to go any more into power in life. Eat A rank in one stream is great, and we just hit prime. I'm actually so surprised with how well this guy's doing. We were talking about it in the last stream, actually, about how easy mode an ape would be, and it's doing real good. It's gonna be very unfortunate when I get hit by four roll assaults by fucking Gotrek and die. I haven't worked out in quite a while. Uh, my job is fairly physical, but it's only fairly physical about half the time. Uh, lately, I've been lucky enough to be doing gigs that aren't super labor intensive, because, you know, people who do labor and stuff, like heavy labor outside, they justify it by being like, well, at least I'm getting in shape, right? But like, nobody actually wants to do heavy labor. Nobody wants to work heavy labor jobs. That's that's the only upside to it, is that it helps keep you in shape. Other than that, I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of shit. It's kind of awful. Ever got that workout high people talk about? Um, I understand it. When uh, I do a job that's like, high... If I do a labor job that only takes two or three hours, afterwards I'm fucking jazzed. I'm in a really good mood, and I have a ton of energy. Um, but it's after that that it's just like, god damn, I fucking hate this. I don't want to do any more labor. I'm done. I'm done. I never want to do this job again. And I feel that way every time I do labor. I work heavy labor during the week and it's fucking hell. I'd rather just work out and run after work. It's different when you're on your own schedule. I think the mentality of it completely changes your outlook on it. When you're doing labor because you have to be doing labor, it feels so much worse than when you're just like, I'm gonna go to the gym and run for an hour or on the treadmill, or I'm gonna do, you know, however many reps I normally do. Capitalism. This stream's going off the rails. Heavy labor, night shift, sucking ass through a straw. Dude, I, I, like we were talking about earlier, I love my job right now. I am gainfully employed. I have a very good relationship with my boss. Everything is coming up roses for me. Uh, I charge what I think is fair, but I could literally charge like another 40% if I really wanted. I would burn bridges doing that, but I I could get away with it. But there was a long time where I was like massively, massively underemployed and I was doing night shift at a grocery store. So it wasn't heavy labor, but you know, it was, it was labor. I was lifting 50 pound boxes, 60 pound boxes, and it sucked. And I did that for two years. And then I lied about what I knew and lied my way <laughs> into the industry that I'm currently in. Because I went to school for like music production, right? But I hadn't really worked a lot of music production gigs. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm a fucking expert in everything. And my boss was stupid enough to believe me. And that's how I got into the industry. They didn't bother checking anything. And they put me on a couple of gigs with people who were much, much more knowledgeable than I was. And I just learned from them. And that's how I got into this industry. Twelve grand for the house? Okay, fine. Twenty-five hundred is my cap. Yeah, twenty-five hundred is my cap for A rank. I have almost no money right now because I just bought that house, but uh, it's looking real good. At some point, I'm going to have to raise a monster. I think to go on that expedition. Maybe I'll raise an intelligence monster at some point, but this is not that time. But I keep the Gemini pots, so every Gemini pot. Uh, reduces my stress by one at the beginning of the month and raises my fear by one at the beginning of the month. So it not only makes it easier for me to train more times in a row, it also uh, increases my loyalty passively. It's very good. Okay, so now we're going to wait until November. We're going to make a bunch of money there. We're almost at the stat cap. We're 70 away from the stat cap. So I'm just going to raise... I don't even know what to raise. 
I don't need to do any more damage. We'll start raising skill in preparation for rank S, because we will need more for rank S. Chairman Cup. This is the big one. There's a lot of money in this one. Only have to win two matches. Similar stats, except I got way more life and power. Damn. Can't compete, Archeon. Money cup. This is the money cup. Making money moves. Eleven grand for winning this one. The big crit, 64 damage. It's getting close. Oh, we hit the slap. Okay, GG's. GG's. Almost lost it, but then we didn't. Kaplan for the finals. That big speed. We only have to hit once, though. Poolerine to missile, 141 damage. Ah, uh, you hit me with your big nuke. Hit me with your other big nuke. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh my god, I'm spooked now. He still can't kill me. Too tanky. Hit me with missile. Hit me with crit missile, hit me with explosion. We still win. Big tanky boy. He can't even keep his eyes open. He's so tired. He's so bored of this fucking fight. Okay, so he's over the cap now, but uh, we're just gonna rest him until next tournament anyway. Another cup jelly. Give me another duck and doll. Give me another three grand. <laughs> okay. You know, it was just a suggestion, but I do appreciate it. Okay, now we rest it for three weeks, and then we do the tournament. We move on to rank S. Hopefully. Okay, here we go. Powders? No. If he's a... Uh, if he's, like, middle weight, then that's fine, because we have pretty high defense, right? The difference between 400 and 500 speed isn't a big deal when um, the trade-off is really high defense. We got a pretty good stat spread right now. What do we got? 94% on yes? Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully he doesn't die here, then. Hit him with the slap, half of her health. She goes for a slap of her own, she's like, I can do that too. But she can't. What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. Only room for one monkey man. 121. Big guts lead. Slap misses. Slap hits, that'll KO. Fat boy, Simeon wins it. Okay, who do we have in this rank? Siva, Kaplan, Gotrek, Archelon, Sharkin, Catalina. Decent mix of killers in this one, but uh, I'm not too worried. Catalina's probably the most scary. Carmine will be scary. Carmine's always scary. Carmine killed our last monster. Well, we, we went into it knowing that we were going to lose to it, so it wasn't too disappointing. Our guy almost beat Zelandia. Lost on a buzzer beater. Very unfortunate. This is a pretty uh, interesting way to look at the game, though, because this is just an ape with just his basics. With stats that are average for the rank, just destroying. Ape is not a particularly powerful competitive monster. So if you were to raise a monster for competitive play, there's so much more you can do with him than what you're seeing right now. Okay, decent damage there. Two in a row? Oh, bringing down half health. Let's go. Okay, can't get the KO, but fat boy, Simeon. Gonna win that one as well. Think. Good boy, Lamb Sweet for the high stack half not even being in the tourney. I know, right? Completely skews the tournament in my favor, and then he doesn't even show up. Lamb Sweet can actually be an issue. Okay. 570. An IB misses? Ooh. Okay, we get the slap for half health. Tongue Slap's gonna miss at 32. Thwack will kill. Slap will kill on a crit. Maybe a damage roll, even. 
Ah, wrong time to get anger, Catalina. Wrong time to get anger. I'm so happy with how well this run is going. Ape is easy mode, though. I have I have no delusions of grandeur, right? Like, I understand what's happening here. The double miss again. Hit with the slap. Ah, thwack miss at 77 is very unfortunate. Oh my god. Missing everything. Okay, well, he can't hit anything either, so it's okay. Okay, Kaplan almost beat us last time, and they're also undefeated right now, so I'm a tiny bit spooked. But also, they are like one crit thwack away from dying at full health, so... Not that spooked. High Beam does a decent amount of withering. 87 on the crit, not terrible to be honest. Falcon Dance is gonna land as well. That's wow, that's a lot of withering back to back. <laughs> okay. We hit the 50-50 with 12 seconds left. That's all that was needed. I love doing these. And uh, I'm glad that so many other people like it as well. Weird question, did Swayzo Pixie have little wings in the anime? Yes, and also in Monster Rancher 1. But not in Monster Rancher 2. Monster Rancher 2, they took away a lot of the model differences from monsters that look different in Monster Rancher 1 to save space. Interesting fact about Monster Rancher 1 that doesn't get brought up enough, I think, is that every monster that's unlocked from the beginning of the game, so everything that's not like Hanger or Dragon or Magic or Disc, or Disc is an outlier. Disc is unlocked from the beginning of the game, but Disc is an outlier. Or Doodle, you know. All the unlockable monsters, everything else be it Dino, or Suezo, or Pixie, or whatever, uh, can actually mix with every other monster that's available at the beginning of the game. So Naga can mix with every other monster that's begin available at the beginning of the game. Gali can mix with every other monster that's available at the beginning of the game. Suezo, Golem, Pixie, Worm, all those monsters can. It's actually really interesting. And then in Monster Rancher 2, they ran out of disc space and couldn't do it for everything. Like a lot of the Monster Rancher 1 monster breed names better too. The Monster Rancher 1 breed names feel more like actual names, whereas in Monster Rancher 2 they feel like like a species name, you know? Which I think you can make an argument for one being better than the other, but it's it's a different taxonomy, you know? And a different uh, etymology as well. Like the way they approach it is very different. Hey, we get the fun can. I'm gonna feed you a nuts oil and we're gonna sell the quack doll for three grand. We made rank S, we did it. Casually even. Okay, so what's my stat cap now? Stat cap now is 3100. I remember we hit like 2800 with the other guy and we still beat rank S. But we have 600 points or 550 points to put in. So what do we do? I think the goal, we're going to do pulls, we're just going to boost power as much as we can. I think that's probably the play. If we can keep speed above 400, that's probably okay. We'll work on our skill. But I want power at like 800. The really unfortunate part about um, advancing to S rank is that you are in a huge dead zone of being able to farm tournaments. There's just nothing except for free-for-alls and officials. Yeah, my goal right now is 800 power. 800 power in the basics is probably enough to keep me through and then I can work on his other stuff just to make him a little bit more well-rounded. I'm never gonna win in a single hit but I can win in two or three and our speed gains are honestly pretty good. The reason I'm doing this plus power gains is that the quicker I get my power up to 800, the less pull drills I need to do, and the less time I need to spend lowering my speed. 600 skill? I was thinking of something very similar. I can get away with like 550. Spookiest in S2 is Thanatos. 
Uh, Thanatos won't be able to do a whole lot of damage to us unless he's getting like crit uh, death cutters constantly, which he might. But we'll be able to out damage him pretty significantly. The withering is also kind of a pain in the ass, but 400 power is not going to be doing much. So we're almost, we're getting close to 800. Then we'll work on skill and speed. I think we'll raise speed as well at the end. 500 speed's probably fine. Oh my god, another great. Let's go. We're going to hit 800 in no time. 3100 is what we're aiming for, and we're at 2669, so we got so much room. Had the worst hiccups for 10 minutes now? I know what that's like. That's awful. It just feels like it's not going to end, and you're like, well, this is my life now. I remember um, in an old like Disney Adventure magazine or something, I read a thing about how the world record for like longest hiccups was like 40 years, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, I would have killed myself. That's awful. Like, I can't imagine. Is this three? Oh no! We hit three stars. We hit a three star drill. Okay, so I don't think we're doing pull anymore. I think that's probably the last pull drill we do for the rest of our life. Oh shit, a great, let's go. So this is me raising stats. I wouldn't otherwise go out of my way to raise just because it's the only drill I can do a heavy drill on and not feel like I'm wasting stats. So close, so close indeed. Another great, I'll take another great. High defense is nothing to shake a stick at. Even if I've got really low form, 500 defense and minimum form is still 400 defense, right? Still pretty good. It's still a lot to absorb hits at this point in the game. 2830, so I got another 270 points to put in. It's really cool how there's a lot of people that we've met through the scene that you know, are tangentially interested in Monster Rancher. It's not their main thing. They play other games, but they played it once or twice and we randomly raided them. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're part of the community and they help spread the word. And it's very cool. I have a lot of friends. Well, I don't have a lot of friends. I have a couple of friends who tried really hard to like make it in streaming and they would only ever raid streamers that were like huge in an attempt to get noticed and like try and build a viewer base off of that. And I found that uh, building the community was way easier just raiding people who were streaming to like, I don't know, 2 to 10 people. And just be like, hey, you like Monster Rancher? We like Monster Rancher. Come hang out. And that helped build my stream and helped build their stream. It was a lot easier to do stuff that way than it was to try and get noticed by someone bigger. Gotta raid small streamers. It's so much more rewarding too. Because people love it, right? If you raid somebody with 50 streamers and they have with 50 viewers and they have like a thousand viewers that's nothing if you rate somebody who is playing the same game as you but has two viewers average or they're trying to like push for partner or trying to push for affiliate or something and you rate them with 50 like that feels a lot better just in general also possibility those two to ten people who you rated might subscribe to you as well as compared to rating stream a thousand people who don't notice your presence at all i mean it's a bit cynical but yes that's definitely part of it Okay, so we ended with pretty low skill, but I think we have a chance to win this. Honestly, it's one of the, the biggest things for growing your audience is just being kind and like rating other people who are playing the same game as you and being like, hey, I think my viewers will be interested in your shit. Can we beat this? We're a little bit under the stat cap, but I don't think an additional 100 points is going to make too much of a difference. Oh my god, we got Ordorf last and Thanatos first. Here we go, 800 power though. Don't have a lot of skill, but he doesn't have a lot of speed. You guys are gonna find out real quick how little damage death energy does if it uh, hits frame one. I don't have any intelligence. If it crits, you know, that's the most amount of damage you can possibly do on an opener. <clears throat> oh my God, I felt like I needed to sneeze for like a full minute there. And finally got it, here we go. did 200 damage and now I'm 30 guts up nothing personal but the greed is real I feel that okay I'm a little bit spooked I'm not gonna lie I'm not spooked anymore slapped its ass and called it a day how we do five boy Simeon walks up to your girl in the club and slaps her ass what do you do 
she probably die. Attend her funeral, yeah. Now uh, we got hit with the cracker. We went for the double cracker. But is he is he a mega cracker? Let me hit him with a slap. The slaps. Bad boy Simeon. There was no real risk of losing there. Aqualine does so little damage. Daphiel is kind of scary. Prometheus is scary. Honestly, the last four are all spooky. There's one two slap on both cheeks. Oh god. No. She wouldn't have an ass anymore after that. Oh no, the sound wave. We got hit with the sound wave. They did Nighton so dirty in this game. They're like, okay, he's a joke monster, but what if we made the one stat he's good at extremely bad? And what if we made all his other stat gains really, really shitty? And then we gave him a couple of good techs, but it takes a very long time to get them. And then we'll make all of the enemy Nitons you fight, which is exactly two, both the absolute worst in their rank. What if we did that? I guess there's an argument to be made about whether Pirato or Tira Veil is worse, but I don't think anyone would argue about Mahorty being the absolute worst of rank S. Okay, this is a little bit spooky. Right. Got some big damage. Elmo Sinlor, thank you for the follow. I got hit with the firewall. And did the foolery? And did the thwack? And a lot of shit's happening. There's Goliath. I don't think Goliath is nearly as bad as Mahorty. Okay, I got hit with the, the hit tech twice. Okay. Prometheus. We're doing good up until this point. Soundwave opener could be spooky. Uh, well, it didn't do any damage. Soundwave is actually an extremely shitty tech. I was confusing Soundwave with I Beam. I Beam would have been a lot better. Wow, he's withering. Withering Dixie. Okay, there's the damage. Almost caught up. 30 guts, let's make something happen. Oh, two yo-yos? Well, that's it for me. If we win this, I think we gotta raise our speed. Pretty significantly. Okay, also, I just wanna point out, I haven't fucked up a single match yet. I haven't accidentally said yes to a single match. That needs to be applauded, especially considering I've been drinking. Foul wind at 20%, no opener. Oh, we hit the thwack. Decent damage there. Hypnotism's gonna miss. And we have the Guts lead? Look at that. Slap slap. 75 miss? Fuck you. Nap? Okay, well, GG's. Another nap? You love to see it. You do love to see it. I wanna play video games. Wow, late stream tonight. Yeah, we're still going. And we get the KO? That's only like our third KO of this entire run somehow. Paladin John, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. We're in rank S. I just don't want to end it before he's done, but I think I'm going to have to. Really comes down to this, though. I'm not going to have a great chance to hit. Ah, he hits me with a long punch. 43 on slap. His chance to hit isn't much better than mine. He's got a 10 guts lead. He hits me with a kiss. Nuts. He still has a 10 guts lead. Black at 36? Ah, uh, could've done it. Ooh. Decent damage, but the acid spit hits? Damn, I'm gonna lose two, eh? Keith Urban went 7-0. and oh. He won everything. Mahorty can win the tournament? Are you for fucking real? Okay, he lost it. Oh, God. He could've won the whole thing. Came down to 50%. Me and Mahorty. Of all matchups, all the matchups in this rank, this is who I gotta fight to get to the big four. Ooh, big thwack, I think we've won this. Excited to see Ape vs. Loveless. We did it. Second loss because of Withering. You know, the low guts rate and the very low speed, not helping out too much. He's now tied Keith Urban. Every monster is done slightly better than the last one. We haven't had anyone, like, fall off, you know? Those stack gains kind of sucked, but, you know. 
It's fine. So if we did 120 skill, power up to 850, power to 900 would be pretty good too. And then the rest of the points in speed. That might be the play. Oh yeah, I, I forgot for a second. There's a reason I'm not doing this. It's uh, very unlikely for me to actually win that. Okay, so a little ways until 600. I'm also raising stats specifically in an order that allows me to um, beat tournaments along the way. I'm not going to do the official again. So it takes a very long time. I'd rather save my lifespan for the, the major four. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any other techs. I think we're just going to go with the basics. So I don't know if we can beat all major four tournaments. I would like to do one before the end of the night. But I, I don't want to do greatest four first. That's the one with Loveless. And I think that might be the one that we have to do last. Because Carmine and Loveless back to back, that's just asking to die. May is the next one. So that's what we're working towards right now. If we uh, if we win the May one, we've still made more money than we've had ever up until this point. And we bought two houses with this monkey. We should get our next uh, our next barn upgrade pretty soon. Doesn't do much for us. It, it helps early game. Doesn't do much otherwise though. You are strong, but be much stronger. This is one of my favorite songs because it's such an underhanded compliment, backhanded compliment. You are strong, but you could be much stronger. You're still pretty shit. Okay, 600 skill. That should be enough. We're gonna enter the next major. M1 Grand Prix? Okay, so I gotta watch out for Astound here. So my speed's not very high. This could be the end. <sighs> is the Heavy Hitters major for? It is. Drew Guard and Astound. Here we go, guys. If I'm minus 100, what is my format? What's my speed actually at? 4, 5, 7 times 1. 0.25. 571 speed. So that's pretty good speed. And what's my defense at? My defense is at 500. It's still over 500 defense. So that's pretty good. Okay, guys. It all comes down to this. Can he do the thing? Will this be it? This could be the run. But it could end immediately. Got 570 effective speed. So his skill is still significantly lower than my speed. I do have more power. I do have roughly the same amount of defense as him after, you know, uh, form takes it down. A little bit less life, not much. He can do a lot more damage than I can. That's the issue here. He can do a lot more damage. But he can swing something like a uh, tidal wave on 400 intelligence, and then that would really help me out. So we'll see. Okay. Rolls out 27%. He misses it. Good start for me. 30 guts lead. Hit the slap, good damage. Missed the second one. We both got 40 guts. What is he gonna go for? Body press is gonna miss. Oh my god. Just nothing but killer moves, eh? Hit the thwack, big damage. Another thwack. And the slap! Oh, miss that 75 classic. Oh <laughs> my god, the body press. It wouldn't have killed anyway, but still. Oh my god. Was there a prediction? There was. 58% said yes, so pretty split. Okay, see again at 48%. Ooh, 116 damage, eh? Life, oh no! That's so much damage! Am I gonna die to Rouge? Comes down to 50-50s, I got 20 seconds left. I can't hit my fucking slaps. Come on, give me power. Plant combo. Give me power. We got one shot here. God, I survived. Oh, this shit's hard. Don't tell me Rouge is gonna win the whole thing. Is Rouge gonna win the whole thing? Okay. Everything here is just fucking terrifying. 
Let me land a fucking attack, please. Let me land an attack. There we go, we hit an 80. Who would have thought? A punch gonna miss. Oh, the earthquake of all things. He almost had me there. Power? I don't like this. Come on. Okay. 50 50 on if Rouge loses. Just to give me the rerun, the rematch. <sighs> we survived, though. We're still in it. Still made decent money. We're kind of in contingency mode at this point. We're kind of like, you know, there's a chance I won't eat the game with this guy, so maybe we will try and make money while we can, you know? Too bad you can't move the calendar, I know. Are you allowed to concede a match before it starts? Yes. That's the Rock Geiger Clause. Winner's Cup next? Well, we're not old enough, we're not young enough to be able to go another year without fighting, so. One more, one more power drill, and then that's it. Okay, no more power for the rest of this boy's life. He did the thing. Congratulations. Now we're into speed. We have 210 points left to put in. 210 points into speed would be really good. So that's just going to be the thing we work on from this until the end of its life. Am I using a tool to calculate these things? No, there's uh, just 52 more light drills, just an entire year. Um, there are rules, if you hit exclamation mark rules, it'll tell you what uh, the rules for the Nuzlocke are. And I'm just looking at my stats and doing the math, because it tells you your total stack composite, right? So this total stack composite for the Major 4 is 3,500. We're about 200 points below that. Um, and I think I'm just going to put them all into speed, because I think that's the only thing stopping me from having a pretty good shot of winning the whole thing, is fairly low speed. Okay, Winner's Cup, here we go. Can he win the Winner's Cup? Winner's Cup is a hard one. The last one we lost was the easy one. Crowdmine's got a shot to actually just kill us. The low, the speed's not gonna make much of a difference. If I had 600 speed or 400 speed, I mean, 66 on yes. You guys have faith, let's go. Death energy at 82%, good damage there. Crowdmine ended our last run. That's actually pretty good for us. Big guts lead now. Good damage on slap. Good damage on slap. Let's go. Fuck you, Carmine. 400 life. You think you can face me? No sorry, Bob. Okay, Rouge beat us last time. Almost got the KO. Good skill on this guy. Lifesteal opener hits. Hits with lifesteal opener. We have such a big guts lead. We can make huge plays here. Or we can just hang out and do nothing. Dodge the Toxic Pollen, that's pretty good too. I'll take that round opener lifesteal. Oh my god, it's so good for me. Brigandy is undefeated as well though. Big defense. Okay, here we go. I think we're slightly tankier than it, all things considered. It's looking that way. Miss at 30. What does he have that does a lot of damage? He doesn't really have anything that does a lot of damage. Oh, okay. We might lose this. I don't think we're gonna get KO'd, but we might lose it. Seven seconds left. Punch. We dodge the punch. Oh, we got hit, but we barely made it. Oh my god. 10% victory. Let's go. And can Rouge get this for a perfect bracket? She can, look at that. So, a new step up, Nuzlocke technology. Another 10 grand in the pot. We've beat one of the major four. Great stack gains. Just all defensive stack gains, that's great. Have a delivery for me, goodbye. Oh, it's the Racky doll. We're getting there. And throw it away. Oh, I guess I can't ever get a Racky now that I threw it away. 36 grand in the bank. Yeah, I think just raising speed is the play at this point. Getting withered is really hurting me. 
every match I lose is because I'm getting withered. Is that a hair monkey? Sounds like a rough monster. How's it working? Very good. This is the best we've done so far. Wasn't paying attention to these games. It's past stage 9. I think we're stage 9 right now. We're stage 10. We might be stage 10. We got the, the old age notice. No, I'm not throwing it away. It's my doll. That's my doll. It's not yours to throw out, Ollie. Well, did I move it? Yes. This doll has to be put away. Please don't move it ever again. I'm gonna move it fucking tomorrow. What are you gonna do about it? Less than 49 weeks. It's enough to beat the game. Or maybe not. It's close. We might run out, but at least we can make money, you know? Maybe Monkey will be just short. Five hundred. Okay, we beat another official World Monsters Cup. Let's go. Okay, one more major four. Everyone we knock down is another ten grand in our pocket. World Monsters Cup. Here we go. We are one and one currently. We lost the first one. Won the second one. Now prediction is live for the third one. We have about five seconds left. We got nobody on no. Not even a someone trying to play the odds. Everybody thinks we can do it. Oh, well, I lied. 72 to 28. 72 on yes. Okay, here we go. Inferno opener. I got hit with the inferno opener. There goes half my health. Oh, that's rough. That is a very rough opener. Misses the two bites though. Okay, we got a little bit of a guts lead. Misses it again. Okay. There's the thwack. Puts him in the yellow. Another thwack will do it. He can grit though. Oh, and he gets the grit. I jinxed it. Two bites. <laughs> Fuck, that did nothing. We got high power. We got high defense. Should have focused on those intelligence attacks. Drew guard. Similar stats to ours. Full salt miss, 30 guts lead, just like that. Slap's gonna do a decent amount with that guts lead. The thwack miss at 71 though. Hits that time, 200 damage puts him in the yellow. Body press is going to land. He lands it with the massive, massive guts lead. We got third. We didn't win any money on it. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. Couldn't be a champion, but I think I did a good job. He did do a good job. He did a pretty good job. Doubters win. Well. Time to put him in the Hall of Shame. Fourth in a line. It's kind of crazy how much better he is than this monster. Keith Urban made... Beat rank S with these stats. Fat Boy Simeon loses with these. Ah. Oh. The difference between winning and losing is just that chance to hit. I don't know if we would have made it to the end. I don't know if we would have made it to the end, but he did a damn good job. He did a pretty good job. Keith Urban, the legend. He, uh, Keith Urban was punching above his weight by like a significant amount. He was using that top tier privilege to make it. Because these stats are fucking abysmal. What's the percent on that move? I, I didn't see what it was. I think it was like 20-something. But he had a big guts lead. It happens. You know? Five Boy Simeon, definitely. We've done better with each monster as we go forward. Mamba mentality on Keith. You know, just win. So we're uh, we're moving on. We're moving up. Fat Boy Simeon is leaving the ranch in a much better place than it was when he took over. Sad that it has to end this way. I thought he could have been the one. But maybe... 
Maybe we'll get an intelligence monster soon and we can start farming for peaches. Maybe our next monster won't necessarily be one that fights for the top, but one that helps the monster after it fight for the top, you know? Next monster is the winner. I don't know if it's going to be the next monster, but I think we're in a very good spot right now. We got a lot of money on our ranch. 